Hey everybody, we're back. AL13, Keith Borg speaking. Panel installation. Probably seen it in the past, but because we have our new universal backplate, new system clips that go on the wall. We really want to make sure that we just kind of go over the whole thing again. With this one, we're going to start with a vertical. You want to finish the back framing first before you start cutting panels. It's very important. You don't want to be wasting panels. You don't want to be wasting top caps. These are the less expensive components. You make a mistake with these, you can adjust them so that you're not wasting as much product. But once you have your top pieces and finished product, you want to make sure you measure three times and cut once. We want to make sure that the AL13 panels are always installed directionally. You'll see here there's an arrow and then obviously we have our, our writing is all facing one direction. So when you're on on the wall and you've got two types, metallic or wood grain, they always have to be installed the same way. Writing always going the same way. If you have one that's upside down, you could imagine if it was wood grain what would happen you would have wood grains going this way and then wood grains going this way with metallics because of the way the metallic is painted on and they're basically all these little flakes that get laid down all the same way when they're painted if you have one panel rotated it'll actually look like a different color on the wall so please be careful with wood grains and metallics with solids you can rotate these any which way you want they won't change because it's a solid color. When you're cutting the panel, some people like to cut it with this part, part up. Some people like to have it the other way around. It's your preference, but just be careful when you have it the other way around where you've got this end upwards, make sure that the base isn't exactly what I just did. Make sure it doesn't have all those bits there because those bits will potentially scratch this film that we have on here and then get into the paint and then scratch the paint. Pretty hard to scratch this paint, but if you're dragging this along and you know pulling it along, it's not good for it. And also when you're carrying these panels, these panels are typically four by eight most of the time. Make sure you're not dragging these panels across the panel underneath it when they come in the stack. They get flat pack and delivered to site. Keep that in mind. So make sure you're not grabbing a panel and just going Rrr. Get two guys, lift the panel, or use the suction cups, lift it off, and then carry it off. That way you don't scratch the panel below, okay? It is, you know, a higher-end product, so handle it with some due care. Let's talk about an ACM panel. An ACM panel stands for aluminum composite material, and then what that means is there's two skins of aluminum compressing a core. Now that core can be either polyethylene or a fire-rated core. This panel is a pretty stiff panel, but in certain wind load scenarios, you will require an extra stiffness that comes from your engineer or architect. They will be able to help you with those uh, details. We can give you all our wind load tests and then you can reference how many of these you're gonna install. What this uh, I-beam does is it, it creates panel stiffness, okay? Now we have a thin side and a thick side. The thin side goes against the panel and that's it. Thin side, fat side, tape is on the thin side. Double-sided tape, okay? We sell that as part of our, our package. And then I'm going to keep it away from the edges because we don't want it interfering with our back plates. We're gonna start installing. We have to peel back the Danko around all the edge, right? So I just go back a couple inches, okay? That way you don't get any of this film stuck behind the caps. Now that we've obviously secured, we have our outside corner here, we have our cap here. We have two edges we can get this panel in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slide that panel in and against here. Okay, nice, beautiful. Okay, so we have a nice clean finish. Okay, look at that. Oh, we've got, there we go. Nice fit. Good job. So when you're putting a vertical or tucking anything into another one, you just want to kind of just a nice gentle, just like that, gets it nice and tight in there. Now we're going to put the uh, top course on and then we're going to install the bigger panel and then we're almost done. Okay, so, so those two vertical installs are now complete and we'll just remove these dancos off. Now you've got your finished product, horizontal plank, vertical panel install with the reveal and flat cap surrounding end frame outside corner 
That's all you got to do.